finally, finally, finally! Though of course we're back by another pretty quick Pokemon video. So yeah, of course gonna make this one pretty quick though today, of course. Um, a little bit tired though, of course, I did walk a little bit though, and by the time I got back, I was again playing Pokemon Go, walking with Lucario, getting my buddies, and my buddy games and all that stuff. I went a lot though, I'm really tired, so I'm gonna probably make this video pretty quick though. Of course though, um, but yeah, I just kind of throw on a shirt, whatever, because I was just, I'm not sure, that's why I just did feel like changing, so I just put on this thing. Um, it's not even like my pajama shirt, I just put on anyway. I don't have some pajama pants on, it's like, Dragon Ball is a pajama pants. What? So yeah, the whole like whole thing I kind of worry and stuff like that. We have new stuff of course coming for the Pokemon Go event. I guess it's probably the 50th anniversary. We had the Dene coming to the game for the first time. I forgot. I thought they were. I, I, I didn't know. I didn't know they were doing five year stuff. That's the thing. I thought they were still fine with it. But um, we already know the season mischief is going to end literally at the time of recording a month from now. Though, so we got that ending up pretty soon. I'll oh, get next next page coming for Hoopa um, on the fifth, I believe, of November. Because we got a new electric event, you know, teeth and stuff like that. Not really electric event, a couple electric Pokemon. That's it. I guess electric Pokemon Wars event. Well, that was gonna be an electric event. Makes sense because there's a lot of electric Pokemon spawning in general. And then just again, there's just a whole bunch of Pokemon spawning. And just saying, there's a lot of coming up. So, yeah. Spots are pretty actually solid though. Again, the raids are really nothing really special. I forgot the eggs are. I think the eggs are pretty suck as well. Again, there's a couple little stuff in November. Again, compared to Halloween, I think. I think I like Halloween a little bit better, but these have some really good bonuses that are crazy this year. It is insane though. So of course though, go this video right when I'm done with it and stuff like that. Of course, great guys, but yeah, we have the DNA coming to the game. Uh, we got a lot of new stuff coming in. Of course, we got the new assets and stuff like that, of course. But, um, or in the game actually live right now. Day of the Dead, of course, outfits for male and females. Um, for everybody who Pokemon Go in general though, so I'm trying to think of it. Um, you get that, 20 Pokeballs, and I believe um, I think berries, I forgot what was in that pack though, because I did get mine already though today. Again, there's a lot of there's a lot of stuff in there though, so yeah. Um we got that, we got a couple new assets up from the 0 0.22 0.230 um no 0, 0 0.2230 0, um assets up in the game already. So we have a 3D um another 3D Hoopa ring, so it seems like Hoopa Unbound is coming probably sooner or later. Um because you know that was like already in the game and stuff like that. Uh we got a new postcard collection, we have a palette customized. Oh, we have, of course, the new um, custom moves for Impact for um, Poison Fangs and stuff like that. The new move um, Poison Fangs. Psychic like Fangs coming for Shinx because it's confirmed for a community day and stuff like that. Oh, uh, we have a push pen and um, a push pen. I'm assuming that's probably the stuff fit. I'll probably say that in a second though. Um, water in the water border. border. I don't know what that's about though. I know 3D ring probably because of Hoopa. We're probably, again, the rings were in the beginning for in the game for a little while. I believe they were 2D, you now coming back in 3D. I'm assuming, for Hoopa, I'm assuming for Hoopa Unbound or the Jeff bringing us back just for like to have in the game the strange, strange rings again for this is a mischief, but and they could be because my palette probably seems like we can customize get some more options in there and stuff like that. I don't know what it's gonna be about though, but it seems like it's gonna be pretty cool in there. We have of course postcard um collection, I guess like for like all your stickers and stuff like that. It seems like it's gonna be for our stickers. Because the Pikachu symbols right there and that kind of symbolizes all the stickers kind of I don't know, something like that, or just like collection or I don't know, maybe the stickers or whatever. The push pin seems like it's gonna try with um take away the favorites as it seems like it. The favorite tab probably gonna take that away and put that in there. I'm assuming like a new kind of graphic. I feel like this can be sorted off for the favorites though with something like that. Again, the customized palette seems like it's gonna be probably for like different colors, probably like you know, customizing your character and something like that. All that probably into one now. Of course poison fangs is the poison fangs. Second fangs is coming for a shoot's community day because that was confirmed its move for its move for community day. Again, link the video around me, I have a bow, pause one around me near the end of the video. You can go ahead and skip to that, I don't care again. What's the video if you want to? Doesn't really matter though, so of course. Yeah, we have the new of course um <clears throat> I mean if you want to skip to the end or you know taking the app above I Tend to kind of forget and put that there anyway, though. So, yeah. Um, Fishing Duels from next community day coming. And yeah, probably one of the, no the November um, events and stuff like that. Of course, we have the Festival of Lights event. The new event coming to Pokemon Go um, right now. From lights comes Shadow. From light comes Shadow. So, so it seems like Team Rocket's gonna spawn a lot more. But I think they're doing this event as well. It should be, again, like I said, um, in a couple more days. So, it's November 5th, 5 a.m. to um, November 5th. November 5th, um, from the 14th, um, 2021. Um, 10 a.m. Um, to 8 p.m. local time. So whatever time zone it is right now for me, right, right now it's like 7:33, 7:33. So when it actually hits 10 a.m. my time, like down here, just about that, down here, it will, um, it will. Try to think of it right now. It will. Um, let's make sure right there. Uh, it's getting my nerves like right here. Um, it will be whatever time it is though. So whatever time is your time specifically right now, like for me again, 7:34 right now. Um, yeah, that's and that's when this time is gonna be. We have the Danny of course coming to the game. Pretty simple, pretty good. It was, it was honestly teasing the um it was great as well. We have bonuses actually, some really good cool bonuses right here. 
for friendship. It got twice as fast, so if you're like raids, you know, you can do it once a day. Raids, getting your friends gifts and stuff like that, of course. Guess we'll provide increased rewards. It's really, really good for people who are like, you know, starting out the game because everybody's always paying for gifts, but to get gifts. It'd be cool to like, have like more focus stuff just spawning just in case. But we have like an event going on right now for like a, to get, like a chips deal for the game so you can get, like, just give me gems and stuff more often. And stuff like that from that, I believe. I don't know. I'll, I'm, I'm gonna go over that in a second, but um, you'll be able to open gifts 45 times a day. That's insane. So it goes from 30 to 45. Just a little bit more though. Again, only before the event and stuff like that. Really good. I feel like you're, I feel like because yeah, buddies already bring their gifts already because it's just a season of mischief. But honestly, though, I'm mean, that's pretty good right there. I was thinking like your buddy could probably bring you gifts a little bit more, and then on top of that, you could probably have like you know you got gifts faster and stuff like that, which I mean they're already doing it pretty much anyway. They give you more gift rewards and 45 gifts a day. I've never seen this game this generous though. That's insane. But it makes sense, you know, friendship, you know, friendship, you know, blood, first of all, life and stuff like that. Also, was confirmed, I think, not confirmed, but I heard a lot of people say Hollow Chip might be coming to the game. They probably could do it for part two right here. I mean, Hollow Chip coming to the game. They got a lot of color stuff this year. I'm not, honestly, I'm honestly not going to be surprised that Hollow Chip actually comes to the game or not. Just saying, though, they're probably uh, coming to the game sooner or later. We have a lot of spawns in the wild. We have Pikachu, Magnemite, uh, Slugma, Wish, no, Wish Pearl. I forgot the Pokemon name. I'm sorry, I forgot about that. Uh, Manage, uh, Manage Devolution. Um, Blitzel, again, a lot of those are Pokemon, Cottony, um, Tenmo, Fanakin, which is actually a pretty rare spawn, it's actually really good. I've actually never seen it, never seen someone really good Bell Box. Oh, because yeah, I don't, I don't think any of the colors start to start shiny, so yeah, they still need community days. I don't think they have any community days. Well, probably because no one likes Chestnut or Bell Fox, anybody loves Green Angel, so I feel like that's why I haven't done it yet, and it wouldn't, wouldn't be fair. Honestly, Green Angel would probably almost win that bet anyway, though. They could do it next year, I don't care. I mean, I'll take that fucking game anyway. I don't care. Um, and of course today they do a spawn game. Doramaka, which I thought I saw a lot of people saw those on. And of course, like quick, a lot of fire and electric type Pokemon come around. Makes sense, of course, you know, fire, you know, like the whole, you know, fire and everything. Of course, again, this whole front, I feel like this whole thing is basically just based around friendship and stuff like that. Makes sense, you know, fire is friendship. Your friendship fuels fire, like it makes sense, fire and electric. You know, sparking the relationship. Fires, it, it definitely does make sense why a lot of those Pokemon are spawning in here. So, yeah, so when I saw the spawns, though, again, Blitzel, I probably need the most. I assume more back in my game. Pikachu is like runs like candy already. Uh, Maniatric Devolution, I could probably use more. That's probably why it's in raids now. And Lopini, mean, because Pokemon will be raised for November. Well, they're November anyway, because it does have a Mega, though, so we're again that raids already, though, so it makes sense. Tynamo, pretty rare Pokemon, you can get sometimes, but yeah, I can use that a little bit more. I love, I love uh, good stuff, Final Evolution. It's weird. It's actually really good though. Final Evolution for time is really good. I gotta give you some more fatty candy. I have a really good fan of candy. Litwick, I can probably use more candy. What's our words? We'll have Tormander, Vulpix, um, Chin, Chimcho. Um, well, it's gonna have a spotlight hour. Not times recording Tuesday because Kekna is coming up. But next Tuesday we'll have um, it's spotlight hour. So you really don't need to like rush and get the coast. So yeah, Litwick and of course the Dede. Again, the Dede was spawning in the wild. Litwick was spawning in the wild. Litwick's pretty a rare one because I know during the Halloween event it was pretty rare. It still doesn't have a shiny in the game. Honestly, I feel like next year will probably be because it got a lot. It's, I feel like it could have, should have, it could have gotten a lot of love this year, honestly, because Blake Quick and Shindle were actually really good Pokemon in here. And the great as they get in the Master League. I think the Ultra and Great and uh, Master League, like, like, because I think that's where it can shine on the most. And of course, Charmander is a pretty rare Pokemon. I feel like that's really worth the rating, and Vulpix is also a pretty rare Pokemon. Like I said, Chimchu will have a, its own spotlight already anyway, though, so you really don't need to go after that. Like, we'll be in the Dene again, we'll be spawning in the wild. Mega Man Nature will be in, of course, raids, like it, we are, it already was confirmed. Um, three Star Raids will have a Lone Raichu, which are, has been raids already via Halloween and everything. Like the Buzz, um, Meg Mortar, and, um, no, Mag, yeah, Mag Bar, and of course, um, Blissom. 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 Right um, again, again, Lifted Buzz probably is worth it, maybe a Logan Ratchet is worth it, Magmar is probably worth it, it was really good. Also, the Justice Tree will be coming back in raids as well. Um, yeah, Fire, Electric, Flames, okay, that makes sense. Some of will have, um, a Logan Geodude, which is pretty solid, Chim Chim, like I said, could be in, like, the Spotlight Hour and Solid Raids. Pichu, pretty rare Pokemon, I feel like you're going to get a Deck Dentry, go ahead, because that Pokemon is really rare to get. I think only got, like, one once, I think, when it came out, or like, they are coming out. That's crazy. Uh, Vulpix, um, Mag B, Electabuzz, and of course, Bidu. 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 So, yeah, again, Electabuzz is probably worth it. Mechwar probably worth it. Vulpix is worth it. Pidu is pretty rare. Um, again, yeah, some pretty good stuff as well. Like, really, some really good eggs. Rather than Halloween, I mean, those eggs suck. Um, compared to these, yeah. Go research will have again. Uh, Vulpix, when you spend staff, you get go research Pokemon. Vulpix, Magnemite, Electabuzz, Meg Border, um, Electric, and oh, yeah, um, Electric, um, did I mean I should, like, Electric, Electric, okay, that's, that's his name, I, I forgot it. Butzel, um, 
um, Darbaka, Lit, um, Lit, uh, the, um, Lit Leo, which already spun the wall like crazy anyway, and did any of course. Pretty good stuff. Next season, the mischief will be up as well for its own next research. Again, pretty, pretty easy stuff. Uh, we'll have new avatar items and stickers in the game. Pretty simple stuff right there. Looks pretty cool. Um, more frequently on November 7th from 4 a.m. to 7 a.m. No, 4 p.m. to 7 p.m. Local time. Where the only in, oh, okay, only in India will have time to double candy for catching the dead end portal. Little's actually really worth that. I say get that though, because them strikers are really soft. I'll uh, cover up a new Team Rocket Go, Team Rocket um, Go um, event right now, which uh, has came this like second time I think, or third time it's came back already. But come on, go! I believe you'll I'm um, able to remove the move frustration when after you catch shout Pokemon. It, it'll, have, it'll have frustration on there. You can now remove it at all, so we got a special event where you can remove it. Team Rocket Boom and we're spawning more at stops and stuff like that. Of course, so that's pretty good though. Stuff like that. So yeah, it's actually pretty good though there. Um, but yeah, though, honestly, that's pretty much it, though. This event seems really, really crazy. Again, we already knew this event was already linked to coming, you know, the Shinx community and everything, though. But this event's really, really good, though, actually. I actually like it. Again, the Team Rocket event, first time ever doing it. It has come back. I think it's like the second or third time it's come back. I think it came back last year, I believe, though. So, again, go remove the move frustration. It's about that, of course. Um, but yeah, though, um, Pretty solid stuff though, like I said. Um, again, we have this next um, Poopa research page. In India, we'll have Gadena and Blitzel spawning more often. Pretty good stuff. Double catch candy for them as well. Again, Blitzel's a really good Pokemon. I think it's really, really worth it. Gadena, again, we don't know how it's gonna be. It's good. It's gonna be. Like, Shiny's actually looks, looks, looks really cool. Similar to Alolan Raichu. Um, the raids are pretty much worth it as well. Again, Alolan Raichu is actually really good. I used it myself. It's really good. It's worth it. Like the Buzz, Shadow, and Rickler are also really worth it. Magnor, really worth it. Um, let's. Blossom, 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 okay, Blossom, um, bl Blossom, oh my god, I can't even try to pronounce the name already, sorry, I'm just going crazy right now. Um, I already have my own though already though, I feel like it's not really worth the raid though, again, if you still have Dark Art Raids, it's a little bit stuff like that, which at the time of recording, it does go away on the 5th of November, I recommend doing those, do those Dark Art Raids, make sure you can, because a lot of people are still doing it. I said, I mean, again, Dark Art just for me, a lot of people got it, uh, it's been stubborn for me, the first two I caught were crazy, they don't want to be caught, I already have a shiny though already though, so, yeah, I love it already, so yeah. For one star rates are worth it as well. Charmander and Bulpits are pretty worth it, even though you can uh, get them from like fill research and like eggs and stuff like that. Try to get as many as you can because Bulpits is a pretty rare Pokemon. I would probably recommend trying to get that as well though. Gym 2, like I said, will um we have a raid hour or spy hour next Tuesday. Um on yeah, just next Tuesday in general though. Not this Tuesday coming up for Cacnea. Um it'll be the next one after that. I think it's like times two. I think it's not catch candy, I think it's times two trip candy, I think. It might be that because I'll pick up times three for for the Sentinel Stars near the end of the month. It'll um, we'll pick um, uh, Pipple will be times three catch and uh, times two catch XP. Chim Char will be, I think, no, Chim Char will be, no, Chim Pipple will be times two catch candy, I think, or times two transfer. I can't remember. I think Tim Joe's like Tom's Return for Candy. I can't remember. Again, we just had that already with the Halloween event up though and stuff like that. Again, there's just so much in here already though. So that's pretty much it kind of though there though. But again, like I said, uh, friendship will increase all that, more gifts, uh, rewards, and of course, like I said, more um, gifts because of the day. Again, the day coming in the game. This actually seems like a really good event. Again, it is, um, I actually that I mean to that. It is 5 a.m. of course, like it's 5, uh, November 5th to 14th, um, 2021 this year, this year, um, 10 a.m. to 8 p.m. So yeah, pretty good stuff for her, of course, though, like I said. Um, then, of course, I think what's the next one? Yeah, there's all the raids coming on right now. Like, like oh, all okay, the raids currently live. I don't know why I even put this up, though. But yeah, um, these are all the raids are still kind of live that are due, actually. Uh, liquid be Liquid will be in one star raids right now. Doltic, um, Skunk, Skunky, Skunky, um, sh um, Shibu, the Shibu, I don't know right. Um, and Scraggy, of course, we want to raid. I hope Scraggy is a little bit more worth it. Um, maybe because it's pretty rough. Come on, that is pretty good. All while, of course, it's the Mega Pictures again. Look forward to that. When they probably bring back the Mega Pokemon again, like for like Mega Week, maybe like next year or whatever. I can't remember when it came out. I know it came out not that long ago, though, so, um, yeah. Um, Ball will be in three star raids. A little Marowak is already spawning the water already, though, because, uh, the Day of the Dead celebration. So make sure to try to get those if you can. I only got one spawn, but make sure to get that and Cubone Candy because those are actually really worth it as well. Basically, it was the current um, Caribbean, and of course, um, um, well, I think more said, I think like a Latin America areas because those are actually really good for like spawns and stuff like that. And like you get one bonus candy make sure for Pokemon though, so it's time to candy get some tool though. So just make sure to try to get that as much as you can. And of course, um, Cacnea's evolution again, I'm gonna have a spot hour anyway. A choke, um, Machop, again, really good Pokemon, really, really good, but you can also get that Pokemon pretty much everywhere. And um, they did share that spot hour, so in December, um, it will have its um, 
Explore our effect of special moves, so I recommend probably doing that. Mega Absol again, if you want to go get Mega Absol, it's Warrior Time, Dark Rise Zone Raids, so, so make sure to get that before it goes away and stuff like that. Tons of Dark Rise Raids, tons of Mega Absol Raids, again, we have to make a raid weekend and stuff like that for it, though, so yeah. These are the day to day celebration, all this stuff is still going on, though. Again, I made a whole video for it, though, and stuff like that, so you guys don't have to frustrate or whatever, though, so, um, yeah. Um, look at that, um, there's a research going on and stuff like that. I think, was, yeah, I think I might win all this already, though, yeah. I believe I'm gonna this already. So yeah. Uh I'll just follow hours like I said, Cacneo will be um, okay, time to catch candy. Yeah, okay, time to jump candy. Okay, yeah. Uh, okay, this is pretty much all the um, stuff I wanted to kinda of cover though. So yeah, Cacneo will be time to of course like I said, catch candy. Um again, like I said, I really don't I it's like yeah, I don't care, but I also care probably for the next deck century probably, but yeah, Jim Chill will have um some traffic candy. 16th will have turn two with time to stardust. Twenty-third will have um Tim Charner Thanksgiving with um Time to uh, um, okay catch experience and people will have time to okay, um, catch candy. So yeah, pretty good. Again, we'll probably have like traffic candy and probably have all the experience next month. Probably in December again. Probably like I feel like maybe Snow White probably could get that probably be like a new shiny Pokemon for the event or whatever. So yeah, just um again like all the stuff I pretty much already went over in separate videos and stuff like that. So yeah, again, once the videos go ahead, we got the next um course of uh, survivors survivors gonna be in St. Louis from the twelfth to the fourteenth and stuff like that. Who's it? Laura spawns Pokemon us of course up for that event. But definitely in Liverpool already had theirs. You can get a ticket, of course, like I said, when you go there and stuff like that. Also, this is what I was talking about. The new stuff in gyms. Probably popping up uh, at um, Circle K areas around the globe. So if you're here, I don't have one near me, though. I don't think so. So, yeah, let us know if you're, of course, like, I'm seeing location spinning and stuff like that. Make sure you get Pokemon gyms and stuff like that. Get those spins. Make sure it's all worth it and stuff like that. But it's pretty much it, though. Of course, like I said, coming up again. A lot of new spawns. A lot of new stuff coming up for Pokemon Go. Um, a lot of craziness right now, though. So, yeah, again. Um, make sure you get those friendships when it comes out. Make sure you get those boosts and stuff like that. Again, we're going to get best play. Get that look at faster. Go ahead and do it, though. That's really worth it. I feel like it's really worth it to get the best friends faster. Get the platinum medals. Make sure you get all the gold medals. Get all the friend boosts you can. Again, make sure you get lucky at going brave and stuff like that when you're doing it. The best you can. You get a lot of experience. Almost 20,000 experience when you do it. More than, yeah, again, like I said, you only get like 20, you get 20,000 experience. That's pretty much almost like kind of like a level up. Again, you, again, you think about your best friends for like this day or whatever. It gets only on the 5th, um, 10 a.m., though. So, um, again. It's really, really worth it though. Again, like I said though, really, really worth it. Really worth it to get and spot that. I recommend doing that for you guys and stuff like that though. So, um, yeah. Again, like I said, I really want to go ahead and video though. Yeah, okay, I went on way longer than I thought though. So, well, I go 17 minutes. Holy crap, I did not realize I went that long though. So, I'm gonna go ahead and end the video there for sure. Again, a lot of new events, a lot of new stuff coming up to Pokemon Go though. So, um, yeah. Um, I went on really long than I thought. See you guys later though. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day. Good luck. Good luck. Make sure I stay safe. Watch me. God bless all of you guys going out. Putting what Matt's on Twitter. Really, really, really cool. So, I got to think about all the info though. Of course, you like to hate it. Again, a lot of new info, a lot of new craziness, a lot of new stuff coming from Pokemon Go. Can't wait to see other videos this time. So, go ahead and do that for you guys. See you guys later though. Again, though. It's out.